This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is for the first two weeks in November, okay? So November 1st through the 14th. Let's just see what comes up. So what do we have for Pisces for the first two weeks of November? This is my second one. I already did one, but... I decided to do another one. There it is. Synchronicity. Synchronicity. So, this is, seems to be a common theme right now. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, they both got this card as well. When something like that happens, there could be some sort of connection. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and read the card for you. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are just are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. So everything that is happening during this time is happening for a reason, okay? With that said, I'm going to find the other card that came up in the other reading um, because I want to, I want to show it to you. Um, here it is. Okay, so. Alright, so this was the one that came up in the other one. Support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from. And then they move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals others remain by your side throughout your entire life so that was the first card in the other reading and it's downloading now um, I don't know if I want to share or not I figured I'd do another way synchronicity so some, whatever is happening right now in your life is happening for a reason. With both of these cards, it says that they are trying to, to do something. They're trying to guide you. You may be fighting it because it says you're being guided. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world. This one says others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. So there's there's something happening in your life that is happening for a reason. Um, some you learn from and then they move on. So somebody could be moving on. This is about learning a lesson, learning a life lesson. Um, pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the to the situations that are happening right now in your life because something is happening and you're you're supposed to be highly aware of it. Um, but I feel like you're not aware. You're not aware that it's happening for a reason. I have to go, I have to keep that card because I feel like it really is part of your reading. Um, so what do we have for Pisces? There's no such thing as coincidence. There's not. That same card I saw in the other one, it just came in again. I can't. I, that's a big pile. We don't want a big pile. Okay. One card, please. What I, what I see, what I, I hate to say it, it's the freaking tower. It is the tower. You guys, and it's like, but it was the tower reverse. I just saw it again. I saw it at the beginning of the other one. Apparently, they really want me to give you the message. That is a permanent loss. I'd like to not say anything, believe me. You never saw it coming. Extreme health problems with the tower reversed. Painful change, a painful loss that you never saw coming. Could be a fight. You can't avoid it. It's unavoidable. You may have been able to avoid, maybe it's avoiding confrontation or something. I don't know. What do we got for Pisces? Pisces. 
stepping into power. Now you could be dealing with a Gemini. Gemini got this card. You are strong beyond measure. Stepping into power. So this is good. <laughs> or not. <laughs> okay. Let's all just fall down here. Collapse. Oh, stepping into power. Maybe you're going to be stepping into power. Maybe Gemini is stepping out. Who knows? Stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Take back your power. Stand in your own light. Even if your burden seems heavy, it makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines or acquiescing to the needs of others, this card is letting you know it's time to stand up for yourself. The challenges you faced are making you stronger. You're no, you no longer need to live your life for others. Yet, if you choose, your light can illuminate the path for those who walk beside you. Now, you may have a Gemini. You, guys, you may be able to light that path together. The greatest power is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. If you've lost or given away your authority to someone or something else, it's time to reclaim it. If you're afraid of standing in your truth because you are afraid of being judged, shunned, or rejected, it's time to let go of your hesitation. If you've been carrying responsibilities for others, you're stronger for it. However, it's time to decide to either let them go or continue forward with them, but on your terms. You have a remarkable inner spiritual power that is born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. Go after what you want, not what other people want. Are you worried about what other people are going to say? You need to honor your truth, not theirs. So, what do we got for Pisces? I almost said Gemini. And what do we got for Pisces? <laughs> hey, man. Now that represents you thinking. Thinking about everything that has happened. You know, struggling. Struggling, learning some kind of lesson. You are in a period of learning a lesson. Needing to let go. A new perspective is needed. Somebody may be trying to punish another person. This is punishment. Needing time. Taking time to go within. Um, restricting yourself. Wasting time. Sacrificing yourself. Struggling to let go of a of a point. It's like I gotta prove something. You ain't got nothing to prove. Oh goodness gracious, the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is when somebody finds the moral backbone, you know, to act with integrity, do the right thing, focus on the future, start over, start from scratch. There is a golden opportunity to build up something solid, something stable, something long term. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of hard work. Starting over. This is setting goals, the new enterprise, laying, laying a new foundation, being realistic, finding the determination, investing in yourself, investing in your health, investing in your future, using common sense. Taking steps in a direction that you may have been fearful to go in. You know, so I feel like you, you've you been struggling. Struggling to step forward or something like that. Um, that is a struggle. Okay, that's thinking. Thinking, 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 thinking. I'm discontent. It looks like you have an opportunity for love, all right? You have an, it's like, and you see it, you know that you do. So there is somebody here that has an opportunity. They have an opportunity for love. It's, it's clear. Uh, it looks like this person is interested. Somebody is interested. It's a big one. It's a big opportunity for love here. But I feel like you've been stalling, procrastinating. Okay. 
King of Wands. Act now. Take action. Um, given to take action. That was interesting. I feel like you have somebody around you that is very controlling. Uh, this person uh, may have maybe uh, stopping you. It's like they're yeah. It's like they're they're in the way. No offense or anything. It feels like they're blocking you. They're blocking your view or something like that. Somebody is blocking you. Their their opinions. Somebody's opinion is, is stopping you. I feel like, uh, or they're, they're, this is a blockage. They're in the way. Somebody is in the way of your happiness um, because that's blocking. Blocking the way this person is. It's a fire sign. doesn't have to be. It could be their moon sign, their rising sign, whatever. Somebody that has a very feisty energy. This person is controlling. They, they either look like a man or they act like a man. Very, very manly very masculine energy. Um, this person uh, it's almost like they make the decisions for you. They're in charge, you know. You let them you let them be in charge. That five of pentacles reversed is is some sort of hardship. That's a major loss. It's an unhealthy relationship, you know, uh, embarrassment. I do feel like there's a turning point, though. There could be a sudden departure. This person could suddenly leave, okay? The blockage could be removed. So this person could suddenly... And I saw that in the other reading, a sudden departure. I did see that in the other one as well. So there is, there is, there could be a sudden departure where suddenly, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, 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 suddenly he leaves, you know? Because um, that's right here. Could be a sudden arrival as well with the two of wands reversed. Sudden arrival or return or a sudden departure. Somebody has been held back. They've been held back by, I don't know, indecision, <laughs> you know, indecisiveness procrastination you know somebody has been procrastinating from making a move but I feel like they're going to be making a move they're going to be stepping into the to new territory very very soon they're very interested they're very interested in you know going down this new path going taking this new offer that has been presented to them so I feel like you are receiving an offer or you're giving an offer you are gaining a new perspective you're starting to see something differently something is happening that is allowing you to it's like this is a turning point of some sort you're coming around the bend it's like you're going around you're you're getting out of this place of stagnation whatever that means for you um Somebody has definitely been held back by another person choosing the safest option, you know, allowing this person to control their their future. And you've been wasting time allowing this person to do so. But I feel like with that five of pentacles reverse, it's like the end. It's like this is light at the end of the tunnel, seeing an improve, improvement. It's like we have the end of an unhealthy relationship. Uh, just get another card right here. Moving on. Moving. Somebody's moving. They're moving. They're going someplace. Taking a new approach. This is a time of transition. Movement. Things are moving in another direction. Uh, Queen of Cups. Following following the heart. Expressing feelings. Somebody is, is following their heart. I think I think there's some sort of I don't know if you're dealing with a psychic or a healer or somebody that is very sweet there's some sort of sweet energy here very romantic and, and counselor or something like that we have somebody here that is looking at love okay they're looking at an opportunity for love and they want it they want it and I feel like they're going for it so I think that uh we have, I feel. I mean, this is a masculine. This is a feminine. So we have a masculine energy that is looking at a beautiful feminine energy moving. Something about moving with that. That six of swords is moving. Somebody is moving towards love. Okay, they are. They're gonna be. 
Interesting. This is a new opportunity for growth. It can grow into something big. Okay, this is a this is this is this is like a new job, a new enterprise, a new business. Okay, it's the start of something new that can grow into something very, very profitable. But a new perspective is needed. You've got to open your eyes to see it. And I think that somebody is going to see the opportunity. This is an opportunity for I mean it's huge. This is a huge I mean it's a huge golden opportunity right here for stability and love. Okay, so I feel like you are going to be seeing something differently this week. You're gonna, it almost feels like there's an offer or there's an offer. There's either, either you're making an offer or somebody's making an offer to you to go someplace where there is both, you know, there's stability and there's love, whatever that means to you. Um, she's some crow. These fell out. Three of Cups reversed, the sun and the moon. Wow, this is parting ways. This party is over. It's the end of a like a honeymoon period. It's the end. The party is over. Separation, uh, parting ways from somebody. Okay, this is this is un unhappiness. Not happy. The end of a third party situation. Um, extreme competitiveness. I don't know if it's losing friendships, choosing choosing love over friends, uh, dashed expectations, uh, leaving behind friends, leaving behind people that don't support you by the looks of things, making a choice to do so. The sun card is about warmth. It's a warm place. It's a sunny place. It's happiness. It's growth. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. It's exciting. It's it's uh, a renewal. It's a rebirth. Uh, all is not as it seems. You have an opportunity for happiness here that you have been missing. It's a big, bright opportunity. I mean, the sun is a big, bright opportunity. This is a breakthrough. This is a new day. This is where you will be accepted. This is love. You have an opportunity for love here. A lot of love. This is seeing the light. Coming out of darkness, seeing the light. We can just be yourself. This is a being in a, a nice, warm place where you are loved unconditionally. So this is a this is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning that you haven't been able to see. Okay, it's been below the surface. And this is like when you get the moon card. That's your energy. This is this is a need to follow your gut. Let go of fear. I feel like there's a, there's some sort of confusion here. You're, you've been in some state of confusion where you've let fear get in the way of... This is fear, happiness. Fear in the way of happiness. Darkness versus light. And it's interesting. Because in the other reading, what we had was... In this hand, I had the Hierophant. And in this hand, I had the Devil. Darkness versus light. It was in this deck right here. They might be in the same order still. Um, I did shuffle. Anyway, it was the devil versus the hair font. I'm not going to go through them again. But anyhow, um, I did I did do another reading with them. So anyway, um, it is darkness versus light. You have to make a choice. You want to live in darkness or you want you want to live in happiness. The choice is yours. You have a big opportunity here for love and stability. But you may have to part ways from people that don't support you. And I do think you're going to be parting ways or somebody's going to be parting ways from you. Okay? I think that there's been, you've been in a period of stagnation, wasting your time. Wasting your time. I don't know what for. Trying to prove something? Because the hangman is trying to prove a point. 
But we have a happy new beginning here that starts now. This is the new beginning. But you've got to let go of the fear. There's some sort of uh, fear of the unknown. Let go of your fear. Be po Think positive. So anyway, there is definitely a new beginning here. There's a new beginning. It is. It's a beautiful new beginning. You, it, it's almost like you guys are are moving away from a dark situation into uh, extreme happiness. You know, you're leaving the turmoil behind. You're leaving the trouble behind. You're headed towards peace. You're headed towards light. I feel like this week you're going to be getting an opportunity. You're going to be seeing things differently. I, and I don't know how that happens. Maybe you've got a fire sign here that takes action and pushes you forward. They do something, you know. Uh, what are they going to do? What is this fire sign going to do? It is like they're pushing you. They're pushing you. Uh Two of Wands reverse. That is uh, some sort of disappointment. There's been some sort of delay or blockage. Being held back. Being held back by somebody blocking you. But now you're free because the sun is freedom. You're free. You're free. Whatever the hell that means. Knight of Pentacles reverse. So this guy is... Hmm. Not being practical. I don't know. There's somebody here that is unemployed. Or they don't have a lot of money. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't plan. Doesn't plan effectively. Obsessed. You have somebody here that is obsessed. Uh, but don't have anything to offer. This This person doesn't have anything to offer. This is like... Uh, somebody that has issues, okay, this person is jealous, they're irresponsible, they're unhealthy. Um, moving away from this person. You're moving away from somebody that is just not qualified. They're not qualified for the job. I know that's changing the story, but somebody is moving away. They're moving away from an individual that, whether it's you or the other person, that just isn't... This person is lazy. They're moving away from somebody that is lazy. That doesn't have any financial means to uh, give. You know, this person doesn't have anything to offer by the looks of things. Um, no long-term plan. No plan. No stable, no stable opportunity with this person. You're moving away from somebody that isn't very practical. This person isn't qualified. They're not qualified for the job, whatever that means for you. It's almost like you've been blocked. You've been blocked by somebody. Stalling, procrastinating. Somebody's been procrastinating quite a bit. Delaying their own happiness. But now this person is moving. Somebody's moving. That Six of Swords, or take, somebody's taking action, they're moving. And it allows you, it allows you to... I don't know, break free, you're free, you're free, whatever that means, you're free. You're free to accept the new opportunity. There's a new offer coming in for you, okay? There is, no, no doubt about it. There's a new offer coming in for you. And it, maybe you missed this opportunity in the past. Because this is a missed opportunity, I don't know. Maybe there's fear in the way. That moon card is fear, illusion. 
But this is clarity. Seeing clearly that this is what you want. So I think that you are going to be going after something that you really, really, really want. Some of you may be even proposing to somebody. Maybe it's somebody that you're with now. Or somebody's proposing to you. Could go, you know, whatever. Um, I do see a solid opportunity coming in. Okay, this is a golden opportunity. It's a yes. It's a yes answer. Um, yes, this is what I want. That's what this is. Yes, this is what I want. Um, so I don't know who that is for. Good luck. Um, somebody is gaining a new perspective and seeing exactly what they want. And it's because they're they're done stalling. You know, they've been stalling, they've been procrastinating, they've been choosing the safest option. But now somebody is moving, and maybe, I don't know who it is. Um, that's moving. Moving towards love. And it's unconditional love. Somebody is moving towards unconditional love. And it could start with self-love. This is parting ways from a third party. Parting ways from friends. It's losing friendships. It's like, you know what, I'd, I'd rather have this than that. It's your choice, you know, making a choice. Oh, lovers on the bottom. Unexpected choice and love. A choice between two people. No, that's what this is. So you are going to be uh, making an unexpected choice in love this week. Whether it's you or somebody that you're with. Okay, this can always go vice versa. Somebody is going to be following their heart. And, and this is like a reunion of some sort. Whether it's you or the person that you're with. Somebody is having a reunion with a soulmate. That's soulmate. It could be you or the person that you're with. So. It's happiness. I mean, that sun is extreme happiness. This is a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. This is being accepted. You will be accepted. You can just be yourself. You don't have to pretend to be anything. And there's been some sort of pretending here. You don't have to pretend anymore. You can just be yourself. So I feel like this week is going to be a very... Everything is happening for a reason. There's no such thing as coincidence. They are trying to bring you together with somebody. Um, and maybe it's... I don't know what this one is. That's why I wonder if somebody could be leaving and returning. It's like... Let me read it one more time. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from. And then they move on. While others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. So, so it's like the season. Some people stay for a season and then they leave. Then somebody comes back because, you know, I don't know why. Um, because you need to learn more from those individuals. So, you know, it feels like somebody, I don't know if that's the case, but somebody may be coming back. There is a reunion here. So I don't know who it's with. Good luck. 